Hey everyone, Kushi here and in today's video I will be starting a new series and this is the Java project series. Hope you love this videos as much as you loved the previous ones. And yeah, in my previous video I have completed the Python project series and if you didn't watch them to just go and watch them. Also subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell to be updated with the upcoming Java project and other videos. Now let us start. So first let me give you a little intro about Java. So Java is owned by Oracle and it is made by Sun Microsystems in 1990s. So it is an independent platform and is not based on anyone or any platform. Now uh, when, when everyone saw this little code you might have thought that is this the end of the code? No. This is the code which you got by the computer itself. Now we're going to type our own code. So let us start. But first let me tell you what is public static void and main. So I'm going to give you the meaning of each of those words. Public is a word which states that anyone can use it. And static. Static uh, can, you know, it makes the project run without any main method. And void. It doesn't return any value. Any value will not be returned by this void. And main is the method name. You can just change this. You can make it anything. Like you can make it days. You can make it time converter or anything. And now let me tell you what is the actual code we are going to solve. So let us start. So we have to convert the time, uh, the days into seconds as we know. So we have to complete this code and convert it into seconds. And then we have to also output the result. So, we got the value of days, which is actually an input by the computer. But we have to change it into seconds. How are we going to do that? We're going to do that stepwise. First, we're going to change it into hours, then minutes, and then seconds. So, let's start. So, int hours, hours is equal to days into what? Yeah, it is 24 because each day has 24 hours. Let's give a semicolon to end this statement. Now we're going to take the value of minutes. Now int minutes will be equal to hours into 60. This is because each hour has 60 minutes in it. Now the last step, actually the second last step of this code which is int seconds and seconds will be equal to minutes into 60 of course because one minute has 60 seconds now at the last we're going to print out seconds now it is not as simple as python to print seconds in java we have to write a very long sentence right here. In Java, it, in Python, it is very, very simple. You need to just write print and whatever you want to print out. That's super easy and super small. But in Java, you need to do up with a long method, but not that long. So, system dot out dot print ln because we have to print out second. Now let me tell you the meaning of this system dot out dot print ln system. System is the name of the class and out. It streams to access the print ln method and the print ln is used to print a line of text. We also use a semicolon right here to end the statement. Now let's run the code and check the output. So yeah guys we got the output correct. And as we can see, two days have 1,72,800 seconds. And there is the same thing going on in the test case too. 53 days. And 53 days have 45,79,200 seconds, which is very massive and cannot be done on fingers or you know, without the computer, we cannot solve it. And uh, let me tell you one more thing. If you're wondering what this is and why this is not being counted, 
let me tell you this is a comment and comments are always ignored so this is a single line comment there are multi line comments also and if you want an explanation on java just comment or just tell me on instagram and that video will be here soon so bye for now meet you in my next video